The footage in this video is transformative and is protected under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 for purposes of criticism, comments or news reporting. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, I'm really, really pissed off. I'm really angry at what the media has done with their last, you know, garbage nonsense excuse for journalism. So what I decided to do was to call the producer and give her a little bit of what I felt about it. And this is how it turned out. All right, how are you going? It's Joey Carbstrong. Was that you that oversaw the edit for the um the piece on Sunday night? No. Sadly, I didn't have much to do with that at all. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't even write that one, which was unusual for a producer, but it's just a, a different way of working. Okay, so who oversaw the edit? Can Do, I, can you, do you have a contact for him? Um, yeah. Did you watch it yourself? It was absolutely disgraceful. It was the most biased piece of um, journalism I've ever seen, and I've been, I've had many pieces made about veganism. This was the most biased I've ever seen, and you know they they put the footage of the dairy farm meet the victims um, raid where the activists went on the farm. And they played this horror. They played this horror music for the activists. How the hell do you sleep at night? His young daughter took this video on her mobile phone. Are you a mother? How did you feel if we took you from your mother? And they talked about all the th the nasty things the activists said to the farmer, but they completely omitted the one of the most um, sort of obvious things of that whole day, where there were four dairy cows that had been shot in the head on the farm. They were shot. They were shot. And this is all throughout all the footage. So whoever was editing it would have saw that. It's all over everyone's pages, all the, these four dairy cows that were shot in the head. And they completely omitted that fact. Um, and that was, that was all captured on camera. Sorry? That was all captured on camera, the cars being shot. It was on every single activist page. It was on all of the. It was yeah. It was. I, I don't. I don't know how they omitted that. That obvious fact. There was just so much cruelty on that farm, and it just. It just indicated a clear bias. Like, and it's very obvious. It's. It's quite cringy. The whole thing, and also like, <clears throat> the two carnivores that were interviewed, they. They got to, to make health claims about meat. You can't. So, and all proteins are the only natural source of B twelve. And. None of the vegan counter health claims were, were included, so it's a clear health bias towards like a heavy red meat based diet. And this guy was talking about not eating fruits and vegetables, so it's sending the message to kids like not to eat fruits and vegetables, eating purely red meat is completely healthy. A pure anecdote with no science at all to back him. It was completely biased towards eating meat. Um, it's so obvious. Uh, look, um, um I'm sorry, Joey, I don't know what to say. I, um, I'm on the road at the moment. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't been in there for a few days. So. It is the most cringiest piece I've ever seen, and it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing journalism. It, I mean, you, you could have had, it could have been a balanced overview of both sides. It wasn't. It wasn't at all. I was painted out oh. to be a criminal. House arrest. Yep, six months in prison. Yep. A lot of drug use. Yeah, definitely. Can people trust a man with a criminal history like that? Uh, activists were painted out to be mean. The farmers were painted out to be, you know, these heroes. Uh, the, the carnivores were painted out to be heroes, actually. The farmers were painted out to be the victims. The animals were completely omitted from that whole piece. Nothing to do with the victims. The victims were mentioned for about five seconds. There was one picture of some pigs, and that was it. It was completely biased. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to do our own media in response to it, but it's absolutely yeah, sure. ridiculous garbage. And, you know, unbiased journalism is good where we have both sides, you know, 50-50. They make some health claims, we counter them. You know, not just, oh, you know, carnivores are heroes, vegans are villains, and meat is completely healthy when there's no science to back that up at all. So, but anyway, if you didn't oversee the edit, you probably didn't have anything to do with that. Everyone in the editing rooms are meat eater. The producers are all meat eaters. They want the villains. The vegans are the villains. But it was just completely 
you know, bias, nonsense? Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I I'm, you know, I'm yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's probably all I'm going to say. I'll probably send them an email and, you know, do do my own, you know, response to it. But really, really disappointed. And you know, there's millions of vegans. It's not a small movement, and there's tons of science as well. Like this is becoming, you know, common fact it's becoming consensus that meat is causing heart disease and cancer and there's violence and cruelty in the industry this was just obvious blatant bias reporting and it's going to be easily detected and you know by by millions of people you know what i mean like most people who watch that that are that have any sense of what's going on are going to see that it was biased reporting so it doesn't do you know the credibility of channel 7 any favors you know what i mean that's that's another thing like oh. like as reporters and as journalists producers it doesn't do you any favors to be that biased 50 50 yeah maybe even 60 40 but not like pff, that was completely vilifying vegans and veganism and painting out carnivores to be heroes and meat to be this superfood which is nonsense anyways i'll leave it there <laughs> oh, Jerry. All right. uh take oh, Okay, no problems at all. See ya. Okay, bye. Absolute garbage media nonsense. You know. And that's that was supposed to pass off as journalism, that crap. That absolute crap biased <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I've had many pieces made about veganism and that was the worst. That was by far the worst. Um, you know... <sighs> Denham Hinchcock, like, just a f f pure meathead, meat eater, you know. It's just so blatantly obvious what they were trying to do there. It doesn't do Channel 7 any favours. Just It's just so obviously biased and ridiculous to the point where, like, you know, like, a bunch of female activists mostly... Courageous female activists, they're painting him out to be these evil villains that you must be scared for your life for, you know. And the farmer, oh my god, the, the farmer's the victim. They got a stick in their hand and, and they got a gun. You know, I was fearing for my life. That's not journalism. That's not journalism. That is complete media bias, obvious. And it's it almost comes across as like, you be careful, like it comes across as cons like some conspiracy against veganism, which I don't really think it is. I just think it's them trying to get the villain and there's like their own bias. They're, they're all meat eaters as well. It's their own bias. Like, is this industry bias? Is there money involved with this? Like, you got to be careful. It looks like you just, there's some money involved under the table or something. I mean, that's conspiratorial as well, but it was just so blatantly bullshit um, journalism, you know? Anyone can see it. Anyone with half a brain can watch that. I'll link it down below and you can see exactly how garbage it is. Just yeah. an attack on vegans and veganism itself, which is a positive movement, better for the environment. It's a philosophy that opposes the cruelty to animals, which most of the public should be behind. And it's becoming scientific consensus that the, these animal products are causing the leading killers of human beings. I mean, this is becoming like mainstream information now, like catch up. It's time to play catch up. Anyways, this won't be the, the last you hear about this. Um, all right, guys, I'll leave that there. I found something else out about Channel 7 too. Maybe there was some type of conspiracy behind this bias attack on veganism. I'll expose it in the next video. Peace. They were more involved with, you know, talking about the mean things that the, the activists said to those poor dairy farmers. They didn't show any of this, any of this that happened to those animals.